One of the most important week-to-week -week tasks at a church is following up with guests. So let's explore an easy way to let the software simplify this process and make guest follow-ups even more effective. Now this church already has an automation for new guest follow-ups. They call it the first time guest follow-up automation. In this automation, it sends an email to that guest and a text message thanking them for coming last week and inviting them to return next week. But it also creates a task for another leader at the church to reach out to them later in the week. It even has all the information that leader needs, like their name and their phone number. But let's go even further with this. This church also has a second automation, and they called it the midweek guest follow-up. This automation will send that new guest an additional email with additional information about the church, like how to get connected, a video uh, with more information and all of that. It's great. However, what this church can do is they can have this automation triggered to run when that user checks off that task as completed. That task will appear on the projects and tasks tab in the home and dashboard screen. So under the when do you want this automation to run option, I'll say that I want this to be triggered when a linked task is completed and I'll choose that task that was created during in that first time guest follow-up automation. This way, whenever that user checks that task off, that's how it triggers this automation to run and it sends that guest a new email with that extra information. That's how you work both hard and smart in ministry. And that's how to automate church guest follow-ups and take them to the next level. If you need help, send us a support ticket or visit churchtrack.com support.